Hey, what's up? I'm Coach Ryan Family from Viper. Today I want to give you a little hack for how you can improve tempo training to maximize your muscle mass. Tempo training is simply a way of designating how long each portion of a lift takes to complete. Um, so you can kind of laser target where you want the tension in the movement. Ian King first came out with tempo um, designations, probably I think late 80s is when it was. And he wrote it as something like, the first iteration of it would be 3E, 1C. And basically that was described how long you would take on the lowering portion of the lift or the eccentric, which is what the E is, and then how long you would take on the lifting phase or the concentric. So a 3E, 1C bench press would be like one, two, three, one, okay, and pushing it up. That's where tempo training first started. And then after a little while, Ian realized, you know what? I may want to put a pause somewhere in the lift. So then he added a third digit, 311. So a 311 bench press would be one, two, three, one second pause in the stretch position, one second lift to lock out. And that was a way to further improve where you wanted tension, especially for power lifters who may want to pause in the stretch position of a bench press or a squat to really drive tension and development in that section of the movement. Then Charles Paulkin came along, took the work that Ian did, and he further modified it because there are actually four phases to a lift. There's the eccentric contraction or the lowering, there's the stretch position pause, there's the lifting phase, and then there's the contracted position pause. So for something like a biceps curl, a 3-1-1-1 tempo would be three seconds down, one second pause stretch position, lifting up, and then you may want to pause in the contracted position. Those contracted position pauses or that fourth digit are especially helpful for, uh, excuse me, flexor chain movements like hamstring curls, biceps curls, things of that nature. So that's where tempo stands today, a four digit number used to isolate where you want tension in a given movement and determine how long you want your sets to last. Here's the problem with it though. A lot of people, when they do their tempo reps and they fail out, let's say they do a 3-1-1-1 curl and then they can't get any more, there's actually still more left in the tank. And so they're essentially stopping the short set of what their body is capable of. Maximizing muscular mass is very, very much about how much pain you can endure and how long and painful and brutal you can extend those sets to be. So a lot of people simply aren't training hard enough when they use tempo training. I see people with pristine technique just counting. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, and it's like they're just not working hard. If you're counting like that, uh, in your head while you're lifting, you're not able to apply the most effort possible. But here's the thing, tempo is useful. It has value, I'm not trying to say that it doesn't. What I am saying though is, with a quick little tweak, you can actually improve upon it. And here's what I am gonna to suggest to you if your goal is hypertrophy or muscle growth. For strength, this is a little different. We don't necessarily wanna do this for strength. But if your goal is just to get jacked, try this out with your tempo. Take whatever tempo you're gonna do, say bench press is on a 5-0-1-0 tempo, do all your reps until you can't go anymore at the tempo, and then, once you can't go anymore, start blasting them out at a faster speed, more of a pump type, up, up scale, up speed type tempo. This is gonna further extend the set, it's gonna drive in more metabolites to the tissue, drive in more nutrients to the tissue, activate the satellite cells, and prepare you for better growth. Do not leave gains on the table by stopping short of what your body's capable of. Uh, there's a lot of people doing stupid training programs, but they get results because they work really, really hard. Make sure you're not missing out on those results by being so focused on tempo that you kind of forget to push yourself. Eh. Sorry, I said it, I've seen it too many times. Um, I've been victim to this as well. So the tempo hack for the day, I'll call it, we'll call it, we'll give it a name, tempo blast training. So you do your tempo so you can't get it anymore at that speed, and then blast until you can't go anymore for your sets, all right? I'm Coach Ryan Family from the Viper Pit. If you like this video, please hit subscribe below. Hope you found this tip useful. I'll catch you next time.